let's just summarize what to do. Deal with the uh, algebraic fractions first of all. Make them have a common denominator by timesing the denominators that there are. Cross multiply the denominator from the right with the numerator of the left and the denominator of the left with the numerator of the right. Then combine fractions and tidy up. Then multiply the denominator that you've now got this common denominator on the right hand side. Tidy everything up. You get a quadratic. You then solve it, hopefully by factorising, if not using the formula. I'm going to put uh, an exam question up for you next. Pause the video, have a go, and then I'll go through. So check your workings at the end. So please pause the video now and have a look at this. Okay, hopefully you've had a go through this question here. It's six mark question, let's try and do it together. Firstly, I said leave uh, the right hand side alone, deal with the fraction first of all. You've got to subtract, so you need to have a common denominator with these fractions. I said choose the product of the two denominators currently. So this fraction here would be 2x minus 1, and x would be on the denominator. And the same it would be over here, 2x minus 1 and x. And remember, we're doing a takeaway. I cross multiply. This x, I multiply it by 10, and I get 10x. This 2x minus 3, I multiply it across here by the 3, and I get 3 times 2x minus 1, and all of that is equal to 3. Now I try and work out the top numbers. I'm already fine on this side here. But the other side, 3 times uh, 2x is 6x, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, all over 2x minus 1x, all of that's equal to 3. Now try and combine. 10x subtract 6x is 4x, and a minus minus 3 ends up being a plus 3. All of that, the combined, would well, now you could combine the fractions, you would get 3. I don't like x's on the bottom, so multiply both sides by 2x minus 1 and x. So you get 4x plus 3 is equal to 3, 2x minus 1 times x. Let's multiply this out. 4x plus 3 is equal to, you end up getting 3 times 2x is 6x, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, and you've all got that times x. I'm going to keep going over here. It's a long question. 4x plus 3 is therefore equal to 6x times x, which is 6x squared, and minus 3 times x, which is minus 3x. I've got a quadratic equation. I need to make it equal to 0. Subtract 4x, subtract 3 off both sides, so you get 0 is equal to 6x squared minus 3x minus another 4x is minus 7x and you, you take 3 off and you end up with negative 3. Now I try and factorise. Can I factorise this one? Well, this actually does factorise again. I'm not going to go through the process of how it factorises, but it factorises um, as such. So therefore, on the one hand, 3x plus 2 is 0, or 2x minus 3 is 0. So therefore, working these out, I won't do all the work. In. x must be minus 2 thirds, or x must be 3 over 2. Again, it is very complicated. I hoped you could work that out. I think you should substitute back in at the end to see if, it's work if it works. It is very complicated. Please, you may need to review the video a couple of times before you get the correct answer or before you fully understand it. But with a bit of practice, this is basically what you do with numbers, but it's ever so slightly complicated and you end up with a quadratic at the end. Good luck with this topic. You can do it. Thank you.